never hold them body body Everything you told me never told nobody body You say your man can't control your body So make a rock your body Rock your body Rock your body Rock your body Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel Super happy that you're watching today uh, Today I'm going to do something different I'm going to do a get to know me tag Because actually I haven't really introduced myself Or let's say you know ask the obvious questions and um, answered it so today I was like okay maybe it's time to also do a get to know me tag so that um, you guys know me a bit better I would say so let's get to the first question the first question where am I from well so I was born in Amsterdam and I was born and raised in the Netherlands, but uh, my background, so my roots, uh, I'm Ghanaian as well. So both of my parents are from Ghana, which makes me a Ghanaian as well. But like on passport, I'm a Dutch. Do you have any pets? So we do because uh, my dad is obsessed with birds. So we have a bird. I don't know the name in English though, but um, I'll look it up. But we do have pets and in Ghana we have uh, dogs as well. So how tall are you? I'm actually really not that tall. I am 1 meter 59. Another question is, how many countries have I visited? I don't know, but I think it will be more than, definitely more than 10 countries, I guess. Yeah, I must say I've been fortunate enough to uh, travel around as well. So, uh, but I think most likely it'll be more than 10 countries. Another question is, what phone do you have? Uh, the phone that I have is iPhone. Actually, I've been using uh, iPhone for uh, the last five years, I would say. But um, I'm planning to maybe move on to another brand. But we'll see. What are your hobbies? Well, in all honesty, like this is one of my hobbies. Like I like making movies. I like writing blog articles. I love photography as well. I love traveling and I love to spend time with my loved ones. Actually, those are my hobbies. Do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger if you do show them okay this is hilarious i actually do and i have one here so i'm gonna show you guys a picture of me and my dad so that's my dad over here and that's me rocking the fro again yep what TV shows did you grow up watching? TV was always on Cartoon Network and I loved shows like Dexter, I loved shows like The Mask, um, there was something called Two Stupid Dogs, pretty lame but I still watched it, um, Cow and Chicken, The Powerpuff Girls, oh my god I'm going back, back to memory lane, The Addams Family, the Jetsons, was it the Jetsons? Yeah, I think it was the Jetsons. Scooby-Doo, uh, Tom and Jerry, and yeah, I think that's about it. I also watched Hey Arnold. I don't know if you guys watched it, like Football Head Guy and Helga. Oh my God, I, like I really loved it. What did you want to be when you grow up? And do you still want to be that? Um, I wanted to be a dentist when I was younger. Right now, if you ask me if I want to be a dentist, no. I didn't do anything like a medical or whatever. I completely went the other route. I've only done business, 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 marketing, marketing, marketing. So that's my field. So I don't want to be a dentist. However, I love to visit the dentist. What's a nickname only your family calls you? Actually, family and close friends, they call me True. And actually what I just said was the name of my previous blog. Uh, but people call me True. So that's why my blog is called It's True Blog. Um, yeah, so it's just a shortcut of Trudy. Another question is, do you have any weird phobias? I'm really scared of like bees. If I'm eating outside or if I'm in a bus, I remember I was in a bus and there was a bee, like 
a, like a really big bee and I just jumped out of the bus. I couldn't bear being in the bus with one bee inside. I'm just scared of bees. So I jumped off and I waited I think 15 minutes for the, for the other bus to come uh, bee-less. Another um, thing I was scared of but it's less is I had a fear of flying but now I really know how to control myself and you know control the, to ease up myself as well so I'm not really as scared as I was I remember that sometimes when there was turbulence I would cry or start breathing you know breathing heavily uh, but now I, I just learn how to control myself and think like it's, it's all fine, it's all good in the hood, you know, when you're in your car. The question is, do you have any weird body skills? Um, well, I think so, because at work, people don't like when I stretch. Because when I stretch, um, I don't know, it looks weird. Like, I stretch like this, so I don't stretch like this. But I stretch like this. Like, that's how I stretch. So, my, my arms are like a bit twisted that's how I stretch properly so maybe that's like a, perhaps a weird body skill that I have so what is the furthest you've ever been from home I would say Malaysia so I went to Malaysia uh, three years ago no four years ago I went to Malaysia to visit one of my friends you know, yeah that was the like the flight was I think 12 hours and that is the furthest I've ever been from home and first of all it was like pretty scary to be honest because it was also the first time uh, of me traveling alone without my sisters and also like you know you're a bit nervous when you go to a new place and then it's also like a different continent you've never been before so i was quite nervous uh, but i had a blast so malaysia is the furthest i've ever been from home what was your first stuffed animal and its name Gosh, I don't really know, but to be honest, I have a confession. I don't sleep with stuffed animals anymore, but I still have them because um, some have really memories and some are super, super old. I'm gonna show you one. This one, <laughs> this one here is uh, one bought by uh, my mom. My mom gave it to me. I, it's like literally, I'm 25 now, so it's, it's more than, I'm, I, it's more than 15 years old. My mom went to London and uh, she went to Harrods and she got me like a Harrods teddy bear and I've kept it ever since and it's super old, like literally 26 now. So you can imagine how old this one is. But I love it and it has good memories and uh, another question is how many boyfriends have I ever had? If you have been watching my videos, you know that I'm currently in a relationship and that's my first relationship ever. So um, have I ever had boyfriends? Nope, until now. This is my first boyfriend. So yeah, there you go. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? The first person that comes on my mind is Patricia Bright because I literally watch all of her vlogs and I like her personality and the way she shows her shows her family and her actually Patricia Bright she's the one I really like watch all of her vlogs I would say so shout out to Patricia Bright if you're watching another question is do you have kids I don't have kids but I will definitely love to have kids and if you want to know how many kids I would love I would love to have four kids I really want like a Brady Bunch but in all fairness whatever um, God will give me I'm absolutely fine with it but uh, I, as of right now I don't have kids which countries are still on your bucket list well my bucket list is huge but if I have to pick up pick out three countries that are uh, on my bucket list as of right now that will be Iceland, Mauritius and Brazil those three countries would be on my bucket list right now how many languages do you speak? so I can speak three and a half languages so the first language is Dutch, English, 
Cree, the Ghanaian language, and a little bit of French. So, but the French is not really good. So that's why I'm saying three and a half. So actually I speak three languages. So what kind of music do I like to listen to? I like 90s music, like 90s R&B music. I like Afrobeats. I love jazz. And yeah, that's about it. What are your goals when it comes to YouTube? Um, I would say my main goal is to inspire other, inspire other people. And in regards to inspire other people to, you know, go for their dreams, um, to start whatever they want to do. For example, if they want to start a YouTube, that they feel inspired and encouraged to start a YouTube channel. If they feel like they want to do, um, they want to start their own blog, that they should do and not really uh, listen to a lot of, like listen to so many people like, oh my God, that's so lame. Or oh, are you really gonna put yourself onto, uh, are you gonna put yourself online? Oh my God, you don't have a life. Uh, or, you know, people that don't really value the creativity behind having a YouTube channel and actually, you know, being a blogger or an online influencer. Some people just find it like, oh my God, you're just doing whatever. But you know, there's like a lot of passion behind it. People feel more encouraged and more, you know, um, confident to show uh, bits and pieces of their life. That's just actually my main goal is just to inspire other people. Another question is, any advice for new YouTubers? Well, actually, I'm a newbie myself, but okay, if I have to give an advice to like someone who's starting now or today or whatever, I would say, um, do you? Like, I think that's the, like, the important thing, to be honest, to stay true to yourself and not, you know, pretend to be someone else in order to get like a million followers or whatever. It's just like, stay true to yourself and, you know, you grow eventually, your community will grow, you have people that really like to connect with you because of you, who you are and what you're telling to other people. So I think the, the most important thing is just, just pretend like, um, you know, you're having an audience, you're having your best friend in front of you. You don't have to be someone you're not. And I think that's a really, a really fun thing because you can be yourself, you can, put it on the internet and you get people following you that really like the way you talk, the way you, what you talk about, how you talk, uh, how you think. Maybe they won't even agree with you, but, but the fact that, you know, you guys can have like an actual communication on this, uh, one of the largest platforms uh, on the internet, that's awesome. So actually that will be uh, my tip for someone who is starting their YouTube channel today. So what inspired you to start making videos? That's a good one. My younger sister already had a YouTube channel and even when she started, I was like, oh my God, I would never ever do what you're doing, like making videos on YouTube for what? Like, I don't know, I like, I, I supported her and I really loved what she was doing, but I thought for me, no, until like last year when I was like, okay, because I always had a blog and I was like, you know, I, I also want to talk. I want to, I want people to see me in motion because sometimes it's it's easier to express yourself when you're talking. So I was like, okay, let me let me just give it a try. And actually, that's how it started. And I also want people to get a glimpse of my life, and that's perfect to do it through a vlog. So that's why I actually started this YouTube channel, and I'm really happy I did because. Um, yeah, there's some topics and there's some things that is just easier to do it on YouTube than to do it on a blog. So that that actually motivated me to uh, start a YouTube channel. So if there are any questions that you you still have questions that you really want to know about me, drop it in the comment section here in this video because then I know that I can make a new video next time using your questions and yeah. We'll have a get to know me part two. Thank you guys for watching. Also, if you really like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. And as you know, I'll be back soon with a new video. Bye guys.